Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with the National A license, part two of our guide. We've already done National B. Now we again have just done these laps very quickly, took two to three, four attempts, something like that, just to get a pretty solid run in and enable you to get gold fairly easy. I do think most of you will be able to get it. There'll be a lot of people that may still be struggling though to get the gold, maybe they're on silver, and hopefully this guide will help you out. So if it does help you out, Hit that subscription button, hit the like button, it all helps the channel out. So let's start off with the A1 license. So driving in the Subaru, this car has a really good rotation. So what you're going to do, going into turn one, you're going to see as we approach it here, we're going to go into fourth gear and then we're just going to literally lift off the throttle and try and get it into that apex. You can see you want to get it nice and tight into this apex. So we're going to lift off, downshift to third at the point of the pit board there. Now, just before that point of the pit board. Now, you're not gonna hit the brakes. You can just literally let this car coast all the way through the corner, keeping it nice and tight to the apex. And then once you feel the car's biting into the apex and the rotations there, you can start putting the throttle back on as you can see inside that circle. The throttle can start going back in. Now, we're not gonna go all the way up to 100% throttle. We can keep it about 75 to 80%. And then when we feel the grip is there, we can utilize it and get all the way on the throttle and push all the way to the edge of the track and over the line and fairly comfortably there you can see over half a second um past the goal time required so i think most of you will be able to get that pretty easy now i forgot to save the replay for the chase camera so we're going to go straight on to a2 for this one and now this time we're going to be breaking just past that 100 board on the right hand side you can see there onto the brakes and we're going to use the curb on the right hand side to help with the rotation this is an ff car so you're going to have to be very aggressive at turning it in you can see trying to get it into this apex and just clipping this curb on the left now when we get to this curb you're going to want to do one big arc for rotation so you're going to see you're going to want to follow that line go out to the edge of the track right up to the end and then arc it in so you can see staying in third gear we're arcing it all the way through the corner we're not going to do multiple turns it's just one big turn all the way through the corner and you want to straight line this as much as possible on the exit because with it being an ff car you don't want to be putting too much steering and putting on the exit because it'll slow you down so that'll reduce any time loss you're going to go over the line there fairly easy and comfortable time to beat you can see again seven temps faster than what we needed we can watch it now from the chase camera you can really see what i'm talking about with regards to you the curb and chucking it in off the curb the curb will give you that extra bit of rotation and then just clip in the apex there use a the full width for the track one big arc get the car in the straight line as possible use some of that curb on the left and some of the curb on the right there and power your way make sure you shift up to fourth gear just before the finishing line as well just to get that little bit of extra time so now we're going to move on to the A3 license. Now, this one again is all about, all about utilizing the full width of the track. So as you can see, as we go into this corner, you're going to get your left hand tire as close to the white edge of track, the white line on the edge of the track as possible. So almost skimming the grass, chucking it in, a little bit of lift off the throttle here. Again, you're not going to need to go on the brakes for this one. It's all about just lifting off the throttle for the first Lesmo. So yeah, lifting off the throttle, letting the car coast in. Once you feel it rotating, you can get back on that throttle really aggressively and use the width of the track there, getting onto the curb, and now all the way up into the second Lesmo, which again, you're gonna break just pretty much dead on or around about that 50 board. You're gonna see, we're gonna approach it, just a little bit of braking in, but we're not gonna go massively aggressively on the brakes here because you wanna carry the speed through this corner. And again, you're gonna get that left-hand tire, edge of the track, chuck it in, you want your right hand tire to get on the green bit of astro here so that the car can utilize as much exit speed as possible. So up onto the gastro curb, curb all the way to the edge of the track here. You can use quite a bit here on the exit and then power your way to the finishing line and another fairly comfortable time. You can see there seven temps ahead of what is needed for the goal time. So again, watching it from the chase camera, you're gonna see what I mean about utilizing the full width of the track. So we're gonna to go to the left, then swing it in, touching the white line almost, get as close as you can to the apex, stay on the throttle once you're there, use the straight line speed now all the way up into the next braking and pretty much braking dead on that 50 board you're going to see there onto the brakes just briefly just to get a bit of rotation on the car and then again aggressively on the curbs and again over the line for quite a comfortable goal so next up we're in the civic at tokyo we missed the very start of this one but again looking for your first braking zone you're going to stay as close to the wall on the left hand side here and you're going to break just as where the wall ends there and it goes into a more of a clear bit where you can see through the wall you're going to break just before there now you're going to have to throw this car in quite aggressively into this corner and you want to get it as close to the wall on the right as possible so you're going to see no throttle or braking inputs going in here it's just a case of lifting coasting through there and getting on the throttle as early as possible and again use all the width to the exit of the wall now this corner you can actually do this completely flat but i slightly miss the apex so what you're going to see here again you want to chuck it in 
and you what really want to get is close to that wall on the right hand side. You always most want to get your right hand tire to be skimming the barrier, and you can stay on the throttle all the way through there. You can see, I gave it a little bit of a safety lift, but again, you can st you can get a gold fairly easy just by doing it, you know, nice and safe. And we upshift before the finishing line into fifth gear and a 29.1. So another comfortable gold around seven temps faster. I think you should be able to do this one. Again, we'll watch it from the chase camera. You can see what I'm talking about with getting as close to the wall as possible on the start. So as we go up off here now, we're going to get the car over to the left-hand side of the track. And again, you're going to just a little dab of brakes before we go into this corner here. Utilize the width for the track. Again, getting as close to the wall as possible. Again, full width for the track up to the barrier. And then this corner, you want to get as close to the right-hand wall as possible. Uh, you can see, I, because of that, we end up having to put a bit more steering and put in as we would have liked. So we could definitely have gained a couple of attempts there um, fairly comfortably on this test. So next up, we're in the Nissan and we're at Spa in wet conditions. So this one is a little bit trickier on the way the car handles, but we're going to get this gold very easy and show you how to do it. So again, going into your first braking zone, you're going to be looking for the start of the curb on the left hand side. So we're going to slow it down as we approach the curb there. You can see at the start of the curb, you're going to get on the brakes here and you're going to go down into second gear. So downshift to second gear and stay to the left at this point and then start turning in and you want to just skim the curb on the right. You don't actually want to get onto the curb because that curb is very wet. It'll unsettle the car. So again, following that purple line, you want to get your right hand tire to just get as close as possible without actually touching the curb. Again, into this corner. Again, you're going to do the exact same thing. So rotating the car in and getting that left hand tire now as close as you can to the curb without actually going up that curb. Because if you do, you'll get a bit unsettled and the car will become a bit loose. So now at this point, you're going to try and rotate the car into this right hander. So you're going to get the car all the way over to the left hand side of the track. So we're turning to the left and then we're going to swing in as much as possible in these wet conditions you have to be very delicate with the inputs so early upshift into third gear here and get as close to the right hand curb now as possible without going on the curb very similar to the previous corners and then get on the power as early as possible now you can actually get on the power quite early on the exit of this corner you're going to see here so onto the power 40 percent 50 percent and then feeding that power in slowly and even when you're on the curb here just stay on the power if you keep the grip you can play with the wheel a bit keep it in a straight line and we go over the line for one point, nearly 1.3 seconds quicker than the gold time. So I think if you follow this guide, you should be able to get the gold very easy on this one. So again, we'll watch it from the chase camera. You'll see what I mean about getting as close to them curbs as possible without really getting up on them. Because if you do go all the way up there, the car will become very unsettled on the curb. So as we come into the braking, you'll see again, not going onto the curb on the left, but just using the white line. And again, white line on the right hand tire, white line on the left hand tire and not actually touching the curbs. This is very important because if you do go on them curbs, like I say, you are gonna be unsettled, you're gonna lose time, the car's gonna start spinning up. You can see as soon as we got on the curb on the exit, we started spinning up, but because that curb goes onto a flat straight, uh, basically a straight line to the finishing line, it's fairly simple to keep control of the car. So now we're onto the A6 license and it's at Monza and it's in the Ascari chicane. So as we come up to the braking point here, you're going to brake just about on that 100 board. You can see the braking inputs going in on the 100 board. And now you're going to turn in quite early for this corner. You can see as you're approaching into the corner, you can really attack it. You want to get over the curb on the left hand tire. So you can see I'm putting a bit of brake and accelerator in at the same time. And that's to stabilize the car. So up onto the curb quite aggressive. Use some of the curb on the right side. Don't take too much off this curb though because you can easily get a penalty if you do. Now keep an eye on the throttle all the way through there. Again, as we go up onto the curb here, you don't want to hit that sausage curb. You want to try and stay just left of it, just right to the right hand side of it, sorry. And then power your way out of that corner and work your way up to the finishing line and we're over the line. Again, over one point, just over a second quicker than the gold time. So again, a fairly easy one, as long as you just get a nice smooth run through this corner. And it is, this car is all about being very smooth with your input. So again, you can see braking on the 100 board there, rotating it into this corner, bit of brake and accelerator through the corner then feathering that throttle all the way through this section it's very important you don't just get on the throttle 100 percent because you will unsettle the car and then all the way to the finishing line and yeah i think that's a fairly simple goal time to get so hopefully you all will get the goal time on that one next up we're in the bmw at cataluna and this one is a tricky little car to drive i have to say we're on obviously sports hard tires not giving much grip so we're going to break just short or just around this gray bit of tarmac on the left hand side you can see there and that's a really good reference to start braking Staying in third gear all the way into turn one, you're going to see we're going to go over the right bit of Astro and try and get your right hand tire to stay to the right hand side of the sausage curb and try not to get on the grass. You see right hand tire over it. So you're pretty much on the middle of the car there. And then again for this corner, you're going to get left hand tire over the left hand side of the sausage curb 
and just take it a little bit off the corner you see this is going to help you straight line the car now we do get a little bit loose on the exit there you can see as we go on the exit we get a bit loose however that actually helps us out because now we're going to get a nicer line into this long right hand corner because we're going to come from a better angle so because of that even though we're behind the ghost there we early up shift into fourth gear and we've got a nice tight angle into this corner and now we're just feathering that throttle all the way through this corner you can see keep an eye on the throttle we're around 60 percent when we feel that the ability is there to put a bit more power down we're going to get more aggressively on the throttle you can see the rear nearly snapping loose on us you do have to kind of play with the wheel through the corner just to keep it stable this car does want to break away from you and over the line for a fairly comfortable time again near over one second quicker than the goal time so again i think you can get that one fairly simple so let's watch this from the chase camera again so you're going to see what i'm talking about with regards to the right hand tires here so right hand tire onto the green astro pretty much middle of the car over the sausage curb left hand tire over there and again you see the rear snap in there and again that gives us the line through this corner but you can see we're almost drifting our way through this corner a little bit of drift going through there we're trying to play with the steering wheel to catch it and yeah luckily we got away with that and all the way over the line now we're really pushing on these laps remember you don't need to drive as aggressive as this to get the goal time you can be a lot smoother and easily get a goal so now we're on to the rally one straight away first thing you must do with the rally one is get ready to turn right as soon as it starts start turning to the right because you want to cut this corner and get a bit of a better exit from there and then you can get the car from the right side again we're going to swing it into the left hand side to start cutting this corner so you want to be early to turn left um, at this point get the car rotating a little bit well i say car but pickup truck and then as we come over the top hill you're pretty much flat on the front one again you're going to almost flick it into this right hand corner so you're going to go from left straight away flick it to the right hand side and that's going to get a bit of rotation and you keep on the throttle all the way to the finishing line then again we're over the line beating the time by nearly seven tenths so again a fairly simple one that rally one not too complicated at all so again we'll watch it from the chase camera again try and get it turned in as early for that start that is so important to getting this one done nice and easy because then you can start getting the rotation all the way through these corners and it just makes a whole run a lot easier because you're already rotating in for the next corner because you've got the first corner right and it's all about just keeping your foot to the power and a nice simple one for you to get now up is the nsx at suzuka so it's the a9 license and we're going to do this one and we're going to look for the breaking point so the first breaking point you're going to look for is the right hand curb the end of it you're going to break just before the end of the right hand curb here so nice and early on the brakes and get aggressively on them brakes slamming the brake down all the way to a maximum 100 braking and then as we come into the braking zone here the end of the braking zone you're going to downshift the first gear because we want to rotate the car into this apex and try and get as close to that as possible but as soon as we get close to it back up to second gear smooth to power and then we can start putting some throttle back in as we're going through the corner that will enable us to carry a little bit more speed on the exit and work our way to the finishing line with a bit more speed and we go over there with a, a 16 minutes 725 which is over three or four attempts faster than what you need so you should be able to get this one done fairly easy like i said i didn't put too much time into these it's just about getting a time that you should be able to work towards and improve on again watching from chase cam you can see how that rotation works going down to first gear rotates it into the corner back up to second gear nice and early gets a smoother exit and it just makes it a lot easier to get over the line in the goal time required so now we're going into the final license and we're at autopolis and we're in the supra so going into turn one you're going to break just pass a hundred board on that bit of gray tarmac on the left hand side there you can use that as a reference just before that you want to break you can break a little bit later but it's nice and safe to break just short of it now staying in third gear you want to get your right hand tire to get as close to the curb as possible you can see we're rotating and trail breaking all the way into the corner skimming the apex and again now you want to try and get the car as to the right as much of the track to the right hand side of the track as much as possible so don't be too worried about getting all the way over there. you can see here we're just staying as much as we can and then getting the left hand tire to get onto the curb here now be very cautious on the throttle you don't want to be aggressive here you can see i'm lifting off and i'm not going to 100 percent throttle because i'm just being nice and smooth and making sure we don't lose the rear of the car now as soon as the car's at this position before you're even in a straight line you want to get onto the brakes and down to second gear and stay to the right hand side of the track and get that right hand tire to stay as close to this curb as possible and get the car squared off so as soon as you get in the car squared off you can start putting that throttle in 100 throttle and now it's just about keeping the car to the right hand side of the track as you work your way to the finishing line for another fairly easy goal time you can see there seven attempts pretty much ahead of the goal time required so watching it from the chase camera again we'll watch this as we go to turn one again breaking just short of that great um, bit of tarmac 
And you'll see what I'm talking about. You don't need to be all the way over to the right hand side of the track. You just want to get it a little bit over to the right before you turn it in. Just to help with the rotation through this corner. Again, messing with the throttle a little bit. Playing up to about 70 to 80% throttle. And then on the brakes nice and early for this corner. I like to do that to keep the car as close to the curb as possible and square it off. That then enables you to get on the pound nice and early and then just to keep the car to the right hand side and you're over the line. So yeah, if you do enjoy these videos, they help you out. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if any of these helped you out. And we will be moving on to the next group of licenses, hopefully in the next two or three days and have them ones done for you also. So make sure you subscribe if you're struggling on any of the later license tests. See you all again soon, everyone.